When the Pangdor bypass to Takoli Highway in Himachal Pradesh is open for traffic, it will give a significant boost to tourism. With the new all-weather connectivity, it will reduce travel time from Mandi to Manali by more than 60 minutes. Most importantly, it will make movement easy for the armed forces while moving to forward areas like Leh. But it is the speed of the project in a treacherous mountain region that will raise eyebrows. Despite many civil engineering difficulties, poor geology, hilly terrain, harsh climate, pandemic-induced delays and a busy highway, the project has taken a little over five years to build. Statistically, this can be one of the most challenging hill road projects ever because the project features are just mind-boggling. Ten tunnels, one elevated viaduct, three major bridges, ten minor bridges and two laning of more than 13 kilometers of highway. For its history, the Pandor to Art section of National Highway 21 has been notorious for rockfalls and devastating landslides. Several fatal accidents have taken place in the past. So it was proposed to construct multiple tunnels that would allow motorists a safe passage throughout the year. In the process, what captured the imagination of the National Highway Authority of India, or NHAI, was to construct tunnels of diameters as big as 13.8 meters. These are the largest cross-sectional tunnels in the entire Himalayan region. The Himalayan region in the north area is the youngest mountain in the world. The construction work doing this area is the very challenging because of the different type of rocks and a loose strata. The cross-section of the tunnel is 121 square meter and the dia is 13.8 meter and longest tunnel is the 2.8 kilometer. The construction of the tunnel is the very difficult because of a geological disturbance. We completed the construction of the tunnel in time. The entire stage is being renovated to provide all-weather safe connectivity to tourists, locals and the armed forces. The tunnels have been excavated such that they can have world-class facilities including a SCADA control, electrical and safety systems, air quality monitoring, tunnel ventilation systems and quick response system for accidents. These structures are designed for 100 years of life. TBM tunneling was not an option here because the tunnel alignment passed through areas with houses, farmlands, forests. Moreover, it lacked a stable geology. The tunnels were constructed using new Australian tunneling methodology. This is a drill and blast method and provides continuous support as the tunnel progresses. At critical points, we introduced pipe proofing and consolidation routing additionally as a strengthening measures. The tunnel phase exhibition was done in two parts. First, uh, a 6.5 meter heading was created. Then, after installation of necessary supports, benching was done as support with 150 meter gap. The lower portion of tunnel was excavated by benching in two parts again. Firstly, one half of the tunnel was excavated in benching portion. After excavating about 100 meters, the other higher half was excavated. This was done to ensure a smooth tunneling in all types of rock classes. There were 20 tunnel portals, out of which 12 were at Nala crossings. On top of that, heavy monsoons and landslides battered the site every year. Our approach roads constructed over Nalas were damaged multiple times every monsoon. But the team showed tremendous grit to restore the roads almost immediately. We always had a plan B so that the tunneling works were unaffected. You need to have the right people with the right mindset to overcome such moral damaging challenges. 
the tunneling activities were completed without any untoward incident. The team has achieved over 20 million safe man hours and has been part of various rescue missions to help stranded tourists ambushed by landslides or heavy rockfalls. Adapting to the hilly terrain was a remarkable challenge. The tunnel overburden varied from 20 meters to a maximum of 800 meters. It created deformation as high as 500 mm on vertical plane and 275 mm on horizontal plane. To make things worse, the rock mass changed abruptly at every 15-20 meter during excavations. The changing rock meant a formidable change from the anticipated rock formation to more difficult rock classes. The challenges were amplified due to soft rock and seepage with multiple fall zones. We had to change the design of the support system shooting the site at every step. Besides the tunnels, the project included myriad other structures. It was a power station on the project alignment that led to the construction of an 840 meter viaduct over the existing highway. It became the longest elevated corridor on NH21. One more bottleneck in our project was uh, working in the approximity of an uh, existing hydro project that was a large project and our two tunnels were just passing along the power structure. Construction of elevated structure was one more challenge. It was just along the powerhouse structure and uh, river on the other side. Earlier the design it was some open foundations but as it was not possible and their space was very less uh, we had to go for uh, piling this stretch. There were concerns whether the project could meet its deadline. The COVID-19 pandemic brought more worries, but quality was never sacrificed for speed. During last decade, FCONS has been involved in number of tunnel works. Tunneling in Himalaya had peculiar problems. Atal Tunnel had serious issues with a fault zone named Seri Nala, approximately 500 meter inside the tunnel. We faced tremendous water ingress with lot of loose materials which took almost three years for us to stabilize. One more important railway tunnel project in Jammu and Kashmir had a squeezing problem and lot of reprofiling work was done. At Pando, apart from geotechnical issues, the main issue was with the alignment. To solve this, we had to go for change of score at three locations and reinvestigation at Sectra took substantial time. All the risks and uncertainties were navigated with careful and extensive planning at every point. The team worked tirelessly to complete the task, sometimes with no standard solutions. The team executed the plans perfectly to get the desired results within stipulated time period. The performance of the Afghan infrastructure private limited is fully satisfied. We are fully satisfied with the progress of the work. The company did not stop the work even in the COVID time by managing the all the resources, labor, manpower, machinery, material, and providing all the COVID protocols. The work could be completed in time. The overall performance of the Afghan is very good. No challenge could dent the team's determination to complete the work efficiently. We had 20 tunnel portals, which is a unique fit in Indian tunneling. We executed four twin tube tunnels and two single tube tunnels simultaneously to meet the project timelines. We sincerely thank the government and the local authorities for their support and cooperation in successful completion of this project. The Pandor Bypass to Takoli project is unprecedented in the entire Himachal region. Once motorists traverse the massive tunnels and enjoy the jaw-dropping scenes, it will be a vindication of the behind-the-scenes human ingenuity 
and extreme engineering. Thank you.